watch you guys never update Windows again. Just like previous versions of Windows, Windows 11 allows the users to pause the Windows updates for a certain number of days. Typically, Windows 11 allows users to pause Windows updates in terms of weeks. As you can see here, we can pause this up to five weeks. But what if you wish to pause the updates for longer periods of time? In this case, I will show you how to maximize the amount of weeks that you can pause your Windows updates for up to 10 years. So let me go ahead and show you how we're going to go ahead and do this. Now, I know this trick is not going to be useful for everyone, but there is people out there that would love to pause Windows updates and they want a simple way of doing it. So go to your start button and type reg edit. Once we click on the registry editor, open it and then navigate to this location here. H key local machine, then go down to software. And then we're going to come all the way down to where it says Microsoft. So click on Microsoft here, right here, open this up. And we're going to go to Windows Update. So from Microsoft, we're going to go to Windows Update. It's all the way down the bottom here. I'm just going to scroll down. And once we find Windows Update, we can click on this one and open it up. So next, we want to go UX, find UX, open this up, and then go to Settings. Click on Settings. On the right hand pane, we now need to create a new uh, D Word 32 bit value. So right click and create a new D Word 32 bit value. Call this Flight Setting Max Pause Days just as you can see me doing right here. It needs to be exact as I'm doing it here with the capital letters. And you can type it out just like this. And once we're done, we can double click on it. And once we're here, we can now open up this little box. The value data needs to be set to decimal and you can put in the number of days that you want to pause it for. Now, if we set this figure to 3,654, this would be 10 years equivalent of. So now we go to start settings and go to Windows updates here. So let's click on this and now check the little drop down list. You're going to see there is massive amounts of weeks that you can pause it for. Instead of pausing it up to five weeks, we can now go up to basically 10 years. I can keep scrolling here. And again, if this is what you want to do, by all means, this is how you can do it. Now, sometimes people say to me, what is the point of these videos? The point of these videos is to learn and understand how you can do things. There is always something out there that someone wants to do or learn how to do. And this is basically what this channel is about. It's educating people on how to do certain things. So this is how we can do the pause windows updates for up to 10 years. They don't have to make it 10 years. You can make it whatever period of time you want, really. So maybe you just want to do one year so you can Go back into here, double click on this here and set this to 365 and this will make it 365 days, which is one year. So we can click on OK here and we can go back and we can check the settings here and Windows updates. We'll go back in here and you'll see the number has now been changed to 52 weeks, which is one year. So there we go. That's basically how you can do that. Now, of course, you can set this to how many ever weeks you want. And if you're not interested in pausing it for that period of time, you can always remove it and basically delete it. Now, you don't have to set this setting on your PC. This is just basically how to do uh, something with your computer, like pausing Windows updates for a long period of time. And that's basically how you can do it. So now we should be back to a maximum of five weeks here. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick one today. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.